Greetings everyone, I, I hope it is recording and you know uh, the recording button is not on the top but somewhere in the back so this uh, kind of creates some kind of a problem second it does not uh, you know exactly start when I push the button it starts after like one or two seconds so uh, yes today I'd like to talk about my camera and about my trip to China I had some business trip to China and uh, from my videos you can notice that I'm trying to find the cheapest way to travel or the cheapest hotel. Of course uh, the clean is good so I try to find you know cheap same time clean hotel. And also I want to you know have you know find the cheapest way to travel around the China. So yeah, Mr. Cheap guy is here. So um as a business trip it was quite um you have to say tiring and you cannot have fun during the business trip and uh, when you are like you know uh, lying in like a train and train constantly doing this this stuff with your in your body it is go it's going to be very good when you are trying to lose uh, some weight I think I have lost like two uh, or three kilograms and I, f I feel much better also, this, you know, uh, many hours, like, <laughs> traveling in the train is, like, um, not good for kidneys, I think. I constantly had um, some kind of uh, uh, hurting feeling in my kidneys. Also, um, I also had some cold. When you travel to China, you sometimes get a cold. I guess uh, uh, the cold bacteria are quite strong in China. And uh, there's a lot of room or a lot of people to, you know, this spread and, you know, multiply and develop uh, this yourself if you are a uh, you know, cold bacteria. So, yeah, uh, the reason why I bought the camera it is because my old camera is, like, uh, very old. And as you can see, that there is a lot of space here uh, that my camera, uh, you know, not allow and um, I'm recording in HD so uh, in order to start my camera I need to like push this button this is going to be Sony uh, keyboard shot with uh, 8 pixels megapixels so I've been using this um, camera for four years and in the recent uh, uh, you know half year it became so annoying uh, because of you know this it is almost broken for example when I push this button it should uh, you know start like keep a shot access but uh, turn the power off and try again so something wrong with this you know this it's not going like this so in order to you know uh, start this camera I need to use a brutal force so <laughs> yeah, like this. So, um, so um, recently, you know, recent half year, I've been recording like this, and it became so annoying. Also, there's some uh, dust inside, and I cannot, you know, clean it. And this camera is like uh, almost useless. So um, I hope this camera is like original. How to say? Uh, yeah. The original. I mean, if you are buying something, uh, especially electronics from China, you must be, you know, cautious because uh, you can get, you know, not so original and uh, um, cheaper. So you must not go for the cheaper prices, I think. And uh, this uh, camera started with the price two thousand one hundred, and I have managed to lower it in into a. 1,900 yuan and I saw the catalog and I pointed that you know in the catalog um, uh, Nikon says that this uh, camera costs 1,600 why you are selling me this uh, with you know this 2,100 the salesman says that this is the factory price if you go to the factory factory you can buy with this price but um, you are in Beijing you cannot buy with this factory price I'm simply adding like 300 yuan I think you know this is a good fair price something like that so uh, actually uh, the price was um, uh, 1950 but uh, I wanted to you know have a black uh, camera 
but they say you know uh, black cameras are all sold only there is a red ones so I decided okay red one but you must lower the price and he uh, you know lowered the price with 50 yuan and I got this camera for 1900 so um, today is uh, tw uh, February 28th and today is my birthday I mean I have reached uh, 28 I'm aging I'm like old guy so today my uh, sisters uh, gave me a present um, uh, you know this this cell phone I mean uh, this is my first cell phone and now I have a phone number officially and the reason why I did not have you know this cell phone it is because um, I'm not this you know how to say a person who does not spend uh, money on something uh, simply um, I told you know cell phones were bad for health and something like that maybe something superstitious something like that but um, uh, I think uh, cell phone is very useful in the case of business and when you are offering a business card people wonder why there is no phone. So I definitely need a cell phone. Uh, so um, I have, uh, I noticed that my sisters gave me the most cheap phone uh, here in Mongolia. It's like cost like uh, 30,000 two rigs, it means like uh, 25 dollars. But I like this present and this is going to be my first mobile phone and um, my wife says that you know this this phone is the latest phone uh, called Apple uh, 4G something like that and um, she says there in in the market there's you know um, original real and fake uh, something like that and uh, how to know the you know the original it's uh, she says it's very simple you can you know the install uh, Mongolian dictionary and uh, Mongolian English dictionary or English Mongolian dictionary or uh, oops you uh, also they say, they say these pictures are you know uh, re really good so uh, it also has you know this uh, something called the uh, talking tom it also has you know this uh, something called the uh, talking tom I am a pussy cat. I love a pussy. I am a pussy cat. I love a pussy. Something like that. So here, yeah. and this has no battery, and uh, this has this has you know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This has you know. <laughs> so this has you know strange sim that you have to, you know unlock and to put something like that, and um, this is going to be my wife's uh, cell phone and. My wife got it from her brother. It seems, you know, yeah. So, uh, trip to you know, trip uh, to China was you know, great, uh, good, and I really liked you know this somehow you know noodle soup. And uh, I didn't know that you know a noodle soup can be so desirable when you are traveling in um, China, and. Um, uh, there, you know, dumplings or baozi or boat is like vegetarian. You have this something inside, uh, uh, you know, look, looks like a meat, but it's, uh, uh, I guess, meat uh, from a soybeans. And I it did not like it. it. Also, I did not like it is, you know, something that is related with the chickens. Only food I liked was, you know, this uh, noodle soup. Um, of course, uh, Chinese girls are quite cute, but they uh, some mo mostly they have something you know some bags on their eyes, and uh, it's kind of hard to, uh, for a man to judge woman's beauty during winter. And um, yeah, they look a little bit tiring, and people in you know China looks like um, very busy, and uh, they look like very tired, and. Uh, you know, I like you know this uh, busy, hardworking, and chatty life. I guess. So, um, what else? Uh, you know, Shanghai. Shanghai it seems to be you know one big Chinese city, and uh, I don't think it's Shanghai is an international city. Uh, maybe I wasn't you know uh, 
I did not spend much time in the you know, downtown of Shanghai, and uh, there's mainly you know these Chinese, and you know you will rarely see foreigners. Uh, when you hear word Shanghai, you think it's like uh, some kind of international city, and when you hear uh, you know Beijing, you think it's uh, Chinese capital, and uh, you think that there is only you know Chinese. But um, I noticed that you know Beijing was more uh, international than. Um, uh, Shanghai, and uh, you can see many foreigners, Westerners, and you can see many Russians, Mongolians, uh, Turk, uh, Turkic uh, uh, people, Uyghurs, uh, Uzbeks, Turkmen, I, I guess, and all uh, ra you know, um, random people. And I think you know this uh, Beijing is looks more international compared to you know Shanghai. And there was a you know, small difference between Shanghai and Beijing in the case of advertisement. In Shanghai, mm, you know. Uh, Blonde Westerners advertise the goods. I mean, there's your the big uh, picture of a blonde woman. There's a big picture of a, a Western man in Shanghai. But in uh, Beijing, uh, Beijing has more Asian style. You have, um, how to say, um, Chinese models, Korean, and I guess there is also Japanese models. And uh, you know, these uh, uh, male models, models, uh, some look uh, quite. Western something like that. Well, um, uh, the reason why I'm making video in the evening it is because you know uh, all day today uh, my birthday I was a little bit busy and um, I trying to you know upload this video uh, on my birthday and well uh, that's pretty much for today and thanks for watching and I hope I'm going to push the right button.